sort of organising and then we just surround ourselves with people to help us out, such as, you know, Steph's been there for the social media, um, and of course, our baby. And she just had a baby, so she's done quite well in juggling that. Um, Anna from Melbourne did the um, graphic design, and Adam Lachlan, and Kate just had a baby as well, so they can't be here. And they did uh, some of the um, content, uh, you know, checking and designing and marketing bits and pieces, plus the website. And then all somewhere here who normally plays in Aaron Jade's band. Here he is, he's going to help us out with sound this weekend, so we wrote TV. And so we just kind of extended the team a little bit and decided to do things a little different. I'm not sure if we'll do it again, but it kind of worked, but it kind of didn't. <laughs> so anyway, we're here, we got here. So, um, but I'd also like to just acknowledge the traditional owners of the land um, in which we work, play, and are going to dance tonight. So, um, and welcome to Canberra 23, to you all. You made it. We've got through that stupid wait list, bloody wait list. <laughs> Dixie would really like to throw that wait list out, but um, I'll do the registration this year. Sure. <laughs> I said, sure. <laughs> Regrets it now. Um, last night went off. So I think last year was, we think the numbers were similar, but it didn't feel like that. It really felt bigger. It really felt a lot of great energy. So thanks to everyone too. that came down Thursday night. Um, we love it. We love it when we can start it with that sort of energy. It just gives us a feel for what's up for the weekend. So when we got here tonight, we sort of many tables, pushing things around. We know, we know what's going to happen tonight, right? So make the venue bigger. This probably is the smallest venue of the last night for the weekend, so they do get bigger from here. You'll be able to swing out a bit more, so don't worry about that. Um, can you believe it's been out, like 20 years? Can you believe it's like our 20th? So, um, it's nuts. Um, and it's been the only of the longest running event is MLX, correct me if I'm wrong. I've got a feeling we're up on the other way a bit. We'll, we'll juke that out. Trevor, later, he's here. Um, catching up with all the new friends and whether it's your first, fifth or twentieth, seeing your smiling faces is why we're crazy enough to do this. Um, we kind of come into it a bit exhausted, hope we can get a dance, but it's this vibe and last night we remember why we, we do it, so thank you. Thank you for your feedback and help you keep your event going and wanting to come back. We're doing something right, which is good. Um, do you, does anyone know why we named the event Canberra? Right. Ah, damn it. It's pretty easy. Do you know why it's been social only? From 2003. Fun. Anyone else? That's not fair. You started it. You don't count. You, we're talking to you tomorrow night. Anyone else than Sarah Ward that started it? Sarah's down the back here. It's her fault. Anyone else? What's the question? Why, did, why has it never had workshops? Why has it always been so shy? We want to dance! <laughs> we couldn't afford it! <laughs> so they, they went, let's just run an event social only. Oh. MLX may have copied us later on. Anyway, again, you know, just saying. So that was why. Um, do you know who's been to every single one? Except people like myself. <laughs> As a participant. Okay. Except tonight! Poor Kent isn't well. What's Kent so name quickly? Cummings. Kent Cummings. Do you remember Kent? Yeah. Lovely older gentleman, double hip replacement, cannot kick him down. He snuck out, he's now in care, he had to fall on his bike. Because what do you do at 89, 90 something, I don't even know. What do you do? You just ride your bike around Canberra. And then when you fall off, oh dad, he's got to go into care. So what do you do once you go into care? You sneak out and come to events. <laughs> like, don't you love it? He's awesome. And I said to Dixie, can we FaceTime him or something? No, oh, it's not too hard. But anyway, sadly. Um, what's the one thing the committee spends the most time on every year talking about? Except this year. Because Dixie, Dixie chose it this year. What's the one thing we talk about the most? And we argue about <laughs> Theme is, yes, one of, not the top one. Can you? No. It does actually cause a bit of yeah, discussion, but not the most. Registration of T-shirts. 
That actually has lately been a problem. T-shirts, colour of the bloody T-shirt. Bloody hell. And I say to the new committee members, watch this, watch what happens when the T-shirt comes up. They're all gonna wanna say something. Seriously, Dixie probably didn't even know that. She chose the colours this year, so it was, I reckon it was a 10 second decision with the Team White. Um, what is the craziest venue or thing we've tried over the last 20 odd years? Can anyone remember or say? Does anyone have any quick thoughts? Because I'm really done, but... Just like, because we tried to step it up, we tried different venues, we tried crazy things. I don't know, Container Village? Does anyone remember the Container Village? That was crazy. Does anyone remember Old Parliament House and then New Parliament House? Do you know how hard it is to get shit into New Parliament House? A band, like a band with musical instruments through security. Um, War Memorial. First one, Sarah, it was the War Memorial. First one, War Memorial. Never went back except 2000 or something. Went back once after that. But the one that I remember the most is the wool shed. Does anyone know the Canberra wool shed? It's got no heating. Why would we go there in winter? Because there's 200 bodies to warm it. So we actually got away with it. But what happened at 1 a.m. when we were mopping to the water? It turned to ice. <laughs> so we only just got away with it. Anyway, um, sweat running down the walls of the Polish club. Who remembers that? It's like it came alive. Do you remember that? It's disgusting. Anyway. Enough. We're going to, um, we're going to have the Andrew Dickinson band take us away for the rest of the evening.